August 13th. It's a Thursday camping up at the Finger Lakes National Forest. I've been camping here five nights so far. I'm gonna do three more. Just decided to stay at the same site, no reason to move. It's a pretty nice site. It has no cell service, which I'm really enjoying this time. Um, I've stayed at this site before, but uh, people have kind of moved the site farther back from the road, and I actually really like that. I, I mean, I wouldn't uh, have cut the site into the woods like this if it wasn't already here. But, I mean, it had already been well used, so I figured might as well use it. And the old site that was closer to the road has all kind of started to grow back up and kind of restore back to nature, so that's good. So I got the flags, had a nice fire last night. Had some good boneless pork chops and rice. Um, I took the kayak off because um, I decided today wasn't going to be a kayak day. I'm going to go out to uh, Dresden, I think. I do the real trail there. And uh, with the kayak off the truck, it drives a lot better. You know, it's a lot more stable. And uh, it's just easier. Um, I get more solar power too. I want to get the battery bank fully recharged today if possible. So, yeah. It's been a very quiet Finger Lakes trip. I, I've been staying away from the more crowded parks just because of, you know, with, with the whole coronavirus. I mean, I have been going to the Watkins Wind swimming pool, but I've been uh, staying out of the gorge and doing the trails that get less use. And, uh, you know, it's a little quieter. But, yeah. It's a nice, beautiful day. It's not, uh, only had about two drops of rain up here, for, quite fortunately. It's, it's been really good weather. It's been dry, I mean, it's dry though, it's the one thing. Uh, not as dry as 2015, but, uh, it's definitely dry enough that the dust is pretty bad. I'm glad this site's a long ways off the road because otherwise it would be very dusty. I remember in 2015 when I was camping up off a of chicken coop road, um, you know, I'd be eating breakfast and a car would go by and uh, there'd be dust on the food, dust in the coffee. <laughs> it was kind of gross, but uh, yeah. I really can't see the cows from here, which is not, you know, I miss not having seen the cows, but you know, the site's also a lot easier to get in and out of, so. That's where I'm staying this time. I mean, other times I might go back to the other side and chicken co-op road or coop road or whatever your GPS calls it. Sam.